Hi everyone, uh, a quick but hopefully useful tutorial today on validating text input. So there are various ways of doing that in JavaFX and there is um, one that I quite like. It, it works for the use cases that um, I've encountered and it is essentially creating a uh, class called something like validating text field which simply extends the existing one uh, which is the one that you would normally use and what you do is just you pass in a predicate which is a function that takes a string and returns a boolean uh, so if the validation is successful of the thing that you entered then it's true otherwise it's false um, once I actually add it it'll be clearer if you've not used predicates before the predicate is well you just, you just check the um, signature it takes a, a, a type and returns a billion so it checks for something and we can call this validation which is um, can we create a field for that please yep that'll do and then we will need um, some kind of a UI I guess for this so that we can check create content which is going to be super simple let's go for we need the field right uh, the one that we're checking and we need a button which is a common thing uh, in various um, user interfaces like submit so you type something in or the user did and then you're submitting it as a form vertical blocks will do field uh, button let's make these a bit bigger so you can actually see them um, and then let's do the same for the button right so this is where the predicate goes s is the uh, input let's rename it to input and then let's say true so this predicate is saying give me any string I'll return true which means it's basically replicating what the current text field does it just takes any input uh, for our use case suppose we want only uh, input that contains the letter a it's incredibly simple right you're simply checking if the string that you've been given um, returns something uh, returns true or false based on some kind of a check that check is literally just here so uh, we need the button to be enabled or disabled based on something so we use the dis uh, disable property JavaFX properties are nice because you can bind them and let's create one for um, billion property called is valid property if you're doing this for production purposes you probably want to um, return read only property and use a read only wrapper so that nobody from the public API can modify the value of it but for our use case uh, for example that will work just fine and then is valid properties is set to uh, validation test well currently it's empty string is by default when you create the text field it's empty and now the beauty of JavaFX right text property anything changes in it just repeat with this new text ignore these two uh, this is the observable object this is the old value which we don't care about this is the new text which has been just typed into the text field let's do this so every time there is a new text in the field validate it if it passes the validation then we set is valid property to true otherwise to false uh, it just works uh, and then we need to bind the disable property of the button to the is valid property of the field and we need to uh, invert that because it should be disabled when it's not valid now let's try this 
I think that's pretty much it in terms of the actual code for us. So we've got a text field and you can see the button is disabled. So I can type a lot of garbage here. Nothing will do the trick unless I type A. And now that I've typed A, it's saying I can submit this because our check is based on if the input contains A. Now you can do a lot of interesting things like, you know, starts with, ends with, you know, it's a normal Java string, so you can perform any checks on it. You can even do, uh, go a level further and do some uh, regular expressions. Uh, it's been a while uh, since I did those. I remember that is for a digit, so that means it can only accept a single digit. So if I type various letters, spaces, characters, nothing works apart from a single digit. If I type one more, again it's disabled because the input is matched against a single digit. Uh, if, you add, if you add a plus symbol, it will accept any number of uh, whatever that comes to the left of the plus. In this case it's digits, so it can accept numbers now with any number of digits, but not uh, numbers and text, literal text. Right, so that is pretty much it. There is nothing to recap, I don't think. You've got this validating text field, the logic of which is basically give me input, I'm going to check the input, I'm going to set a property, uh, a boolean property to true or false based on it, and then you can use this is valid property anyway in your application to simply not allow the user to press the button or submit the form or something else. That note, uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to vote for um, don't forget to vote in the kind of community section so you can kind of vote for new videos. Bye bye now.